Um, well, it's not just about COP, it's about women being on the agenda full stop. And I think what we've seen at COP is a reflection of a larger issue. But perhaps why it's come to the fore is that as we see the consequences and the impacts of climate on the lives of people, it's impossible now to ignore the role of women. It's impossible now to ignore the fact that they are suffering, but also we're seeing activists. If you look among the climate activists, many of them are women. And I think it's just a natural progression. It's been slow but we're really, really glad that we're there now. Right, so if we're talking about the role of women um, and finance, that's across the board. You know, we definitely have a big financial deficit, but you're right to bring up the gender dimension to that because even when the finance flows, inevitably not enough of it is going to women. What matters now is that we don't miss it. We can't afford for women to fall off the agenda. We need to ensure that they're right there at the top and that the finance conversations and the conversations about the role of women come together. More women in the room would be a good place to start. Um, I, I understand that, um, that the delegations still are, the women in the delegations are really underrepresented still at this COP. Um, but, you know, on the stage today, we had quite a number of women. What needs to change is that women's voices need to be heard. Um, and that's going to just take pushing. It's going to be like a broken record, but we're not going to be tired of saying it. We need women at the table. We need women in decision making. We need women when it comes to money. And we need women when it comes to policy. It needs, we need women when it comes to action. This tagline for this COP, Unite, Act, Deliver, can happen if that unite doesn't include women. Inertia, you know, culture, tradition, the fact that it's so easy for you to be on a stage and think it's normal to have five men and one woman, but when you have five women and one man, you think that's abnormal. So history, that's our biggest challenge. But what we need is a push. And I think there are enough women ready to give that push now. Um, I think that what we just witnessed, that conversation, for it to actually feed into the NDCs, to make sure the nationally determined contributions specifically reference gender, not just in some countries, but in all countries.